Today is day 31 on this bus conversion project. We've completed it. Brian and Alicia are on their way right now for the final reveal. This is The Bus Life. We started this project about 31 days ago, and when I say days, we've been we've worked on this for almost 31 days straight, hardly taking a day off. So one thing I wanted to highlight is the table that we installed in this bus. You'll recognize this design from our second bus conversion we did. It's a really cool design because it allows you to have a large dining table with sofas on each side, but you can still walk through this area. It simply flips up like this, and there's sliders that are underneath here that you slide out and it holds the table in place and makes for a very large dining table for eating dinners, playing games, or just hanging out and having coffee and cookies. So we always think a table is a very important place in your bus conversion. Um, and a lot of people skimp on that because of room and this actually gives you lots of table and still gives you lots of walking room. There's only a few things that Brian and Lisa are gonna to have to do to make this their home. Um, the first thing is gonna be upholstering their dinette seats, which are on my right and my left here. Um, the next thing they're gonna to have to do is put in countertops. We've already got our tile backsplash in. So we installed a 600 amp hour battery system in this bus that's Victron, and we also installed 1500 watts of solar on the roof. They also wanted to go with a farmhouse sink, which is not normal in the bus conversion. You generally go with a smaller sink, but this is actually really nice and really big, and they've actually got a lot of counter space in this bus. They're going with a, a large 15 cubic foot um, Norcold fridge, which is gonna go here, the 12 volt fridge. They got their washer dryer combo in. And besides that, it's going to be like installing mattresses in their bunk beds and a mattress in their master suite, along with a countertop on each side of their bed. And then this is ready for a life of adventure. All right, the final reveal. More stuff. Okay. And now look at it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. I feel like great. Okay. I really don't recognize it. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. This is so cool. Okay. I see what you're saying. I told her some executive okay. decisions have been made. Wow, the shelves are so pretty. Are, so are, you, are you feeling a cold breeze at all? I do. Yeah. That is so cold. <laughs> Which feels So amazing. this is currently running off the solar right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. What do you think, it is so much more roomy. Than I was anticipating. Like, <laughs> well, you're uh, right there. And then there's these little slide outs. Slide outs that come out. This is nice. Yeah. This is a good sized table. Yeah. Yes. Thanksgiving dinner right here. Yeah. Right? Yes. Um, I know it's amazing. And actually, if you take the driver's seat when you're parked and push it all the way forward, forward yeah. it won't feel encroaching. You see when your seat is in too. Yeah. Yes, I saw that. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot more open. Yeah. So is it more open call. than what you thought it was? Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at the tile! It's so perfect! This is... Let me see. Let me open this real quick. See, that's just perfect. That's just perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Your sink. Oh. <laughs> the infamous farmhouse sink. Yes. Wow. Look Stealthing at that. as a bath. Yes. yes. A baby bath. <laughs> that is just... I finally have a bus. I've never had a farmhouse seat. <laughs> yeah. And I've never had like that nice table area, right area. area in my laundry room. And I finally get it. So like, you've got this and this nice full area, and then he needs a coffee maker. Yes. Yeah. The Breville. Special. The Breville needs to be installed. Did she just say that's fine? It's on camera. Oh, it's on camera. It's the smallest area probably you'll ever live in, but yeah. hopefully yeah. the most convenient yes. and well put together. It's just yeah. every space is just perfectly thought out and designed, and it's just it's gonna work. I think so much better than I. Is it this, I mean, this kitchen is a good size kitchen. It is. It is. It is. It is. Like, I thought. I thought for sure I was gonna be like. Right. 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 No. Like, no. It's perfect. Yeah. You even have some extra space here to put pans or yeah. cookies oh, or something. Yes, that's perfect. Because the counter will go and The counter will go over that. Awesome. So we can do whatever we mm -hmm. want there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to walk in there. I have shoes on, but oh well. Okay. Wow. 
Isn't it pretty? It yes. is. <laughs> this was just grouted so nice. today when I was yeah. over here. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Wow. Like an hour ago. Wow. <laughs> All right, and then the bath. The toilet. Yes. The toilet. Wow. <laughs> it's like just the right size. Yeah. <laughs> Sink. And there's running water there. Try that out. We have running water. Wash your hands. <laughs> The perfect little sink. <laughs> Here's your room. Oh. They yes. also did this for us, Alicia. They framed in for the doors. These frames are really These frames are really Dad, can I sleep right here? Yeah, I just, see. <laughs> and look at the little lights are in too. Oh, yeah, they How fun. Thank you. That so that's all nice. nice. But I was waiting until everyone's out and before I fumigate the place. I've been wanting to step up here for a long time. I love how you guys made this just so. This is going to be my garage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the garage under the bed. Wow. Okay. And the cabinets. The cabinets. Wow. It's amazing. And I love it. Good. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? And I know. A month it came from studs and insulation to this. I know. Gosh, it's so much work. Very nice. Wow. <laughs> Goodness. This is amazing. Oh, and we have two bus life shirts for you guys. Oh all God. we mm -hmm. all we had was large. Oh, that's, that's fine. So that's all fine. that's all we had left, and two bus life stickers. Oh, we're in the so, club. <laughs> yeah, we want to give those to you guys. Well, thank, thank you, you so yeah. much. So we hope that by doing all this and helping you guys out, that you, I know you mentioned back there you didn't think you could even get this done in a year. No, so not hopefully year, we'll yeah. save you money and you'll be happy in your space we're just yeah. we finally have a home like yeah. we've just truly felt so homeless just constantly Aww. renting and like yeah. moving and yeah. knowing that this was this was what we wanted it was worth it yeah. it's just gonna <laughs> yeah. be so worth it as you start traveling you'll find like a whole new freedom and yeah. life mm -hmm. of like yeah. you know okay this is our home it's stable it's stable for our kids it's like the constant but yet you can take it anywhere yeah. and yeah. see new places all right guys so we're gonna sign our name on this bunk the whole bus life crew bus life Famous disco signature. Yeah. It's going now. Signed, darling. So we've been following the bus life. When we first decided to build a bus, we didn't think we'd be able to do it. We had, uh, what, three kids? Four, the time, four kids at the time. Four kids at the time. And we're like, oh, how can you live in such a small place, space so with many kids? So, so many kids. We went and I looked up large family school bus conversion and the bus life came up and it was all downhill from there. How many kids there. did they have when we found them, first found them, five years ago? Was it eight kids? Like at least eight, if not more. Seven yeah. or eight kids when we were first <laughs> So, we're like, so okay, we're like, oh, we can do there's it. our answer, we yeah. can do this. And so that was just like our, kind of like our, our guiding place. Like every, whenever we had a question about what bus life was going to be like or how to design our bus, we would just constantly go back to YouTube channels and we would just like study them, like pause it. Okay. Oh, look at that. You know, and their second bus, we watched so, every video yeah. and that's what inspired a lot of design on this, on mm -hmm. this bus. Honestly, I can't think of many people that I've seen out there that I would want to work and build my bus, but I've seen the work that the bus life has done and it's phenomenal and I couldn't yeah. imagine anyone else and honestly our goal was when we first got with them was like hey we just need to get this livable um we have our lease coming up and we don't want to renew another year and we need we need a place we need to get this bus done and uh they've done and gone beyond that there's still a few things obviously that need to get done that we can do but um it is more than livable now so. i would say exceed expectations it was really cool and surreal at the same time to be working with these folks we've been following and admiring and wanting to meet one day and then to working them and having them work on our bus. They're just, what you see on YouTube is what you get in real life. And it's been phenomenal, the work, amount of work they've done, the level of work ethic, like six days a week, 12 plus hour days to get this thing done in that 30 day goal that they set. You know, it's just seeing them, how they work together as a family and um, how they live day to day in their bus. And just, it just is such a, 
I don't know how to describe it other than just peaceful, joyful, exciting, and just very content. And um, it just gave us so much encouragement. They just felt comfortable just asking us questions like, well, what about this? And, you know, and they just made flat out recommendations. You know, I said, well, I really want, you know, certain ideas. And they're like, well, you really might want to rethink that. And at first I was kind of like, oh, okay. You know, like kind of went on with faith, like trusting them. But I'm so glad I did because I don't regret anything that they recommended. We always hoped we'd meet them on the road. And yeah. uh, what a crazy ending to the story that they helped us finish this up. Yeah.